Welcome to Primecast. My name is Jesse. I'm Wyatt. What up? to Transformers. So, uh, kind of a slow news week, I guess. Yep. Uh, not, not a whole lot of exciting things going on. A couple of interesting things, but yeah, nothing really like, oh my god, what? What? Transformers Kill. 5? What? There hasn't even been a 4. Oh, they're skipping 4, going straight to 5. Wouldn't that be 4 still? Nope, Transformers 5, Revenge of the Unicron. Unicron, he must have been in four. <laughs> yeah. Shit. And then um, skipping six, going to nine. And then they start doing timetables. And then, yeah, it's getting real weird. Um, I got a movie trilogy, Optimus Prime. But it's well, useless because you're not going to open it. No, it's not useless. It's a it's good use- display piece. It's a good display piece in like, robot um, mode. Like, um, no, he's not. Like, <laughs> I, got, I got him basically because... Um, I'm go- it's it's going to be side by side with my uh, Japanese G1 Optimus Prime, which is mint and sealed box, and they look good together. Okay, it's, that does sound actually pretty cool. It's like a it's like it, they're basically the same size and similar similarly packaged, and it shows a good evolution of Optimus Prime in 25 ish years. Over time. that is pretty cool. I, I dig that as a display. So, I thought you were just gonna like stick it somewhere like on your desk. It was like, yep. Nope. 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 All right. Well, that sounds cool, actually. You should put up a picture of that sometime. Yeah, I will. Um, yeah, but we talked. Did we? T- I think we talked about it last week, but um, it's it's absolutely hilarious. It says on the bottom, it says also available as <gasps> Bumblebee, Soundwave, and uh, Repaint a Ratchet. And we're all going to be in the movie trilogy line, and we're not going to see a goddamn thing here in America. And, and the sound wave is actually the uh, black and red repaint, the sound blaster version. Well, the, yeah, those are the movie trilogy ones. That ratchet was also movie trilogy. Was uh, it? And, and, yeah, inverted a rescue ratchet. And that bumblebee, look at the bumblebee closely. He's uh, he's different. Um, I don't see a difference, though. He has, like, black stripes out about symbol on the chest. and. No, he doesn't. Mm. Well, he's different. Not the one on my box. No. Next time I go to the store, I will get photo evidence and comparisons and investigation and, forensics. And and you will be proven wrong. You will be proven Reuven because I bet Robot Adventures is listening. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I, I talked about, I thought about doing it last week, but I still haven't put any sort of order or commitment into a uh power riser optimus prime i put in two commitments this week uh how well i i, I haven't gotten it yet but i caved on ebay and for 35 dollars 99 cents uh shipped i ordered a deluxe sound wave from darker the moon so my precious will be mine soon my other commitment was a uh, was one that I know Jesse really enjoys. I got uh um, Naruto. <laughs> nope. Oh, Better. Damn. Um, I got Prime Revealers Bumblebee. Uh, yep. <laughs> yep. It, it, okay. I I don't think I actually heard about your opinion, but about it. But um, I guess you can talk about it now. What do you think? Well, <laughs> well, this is like I, I'm the guy who likes bad toys and not just because they're bad. I like them because they're not that bad. Like I dig um, I dig Universe Galvatron and stuff. Mm-hmm. And this is a guy that I like him for his flaws. And I don't know. I think he does some things a little bit better. Like the doors, they're on kind of hexagonal pieces. So you can ratchet them forward however much you want them forward and back and they won't move. Um, I like the yellow paint. But his actual molded plastic looks awful. It's like this really dirty, especially on the sides, it looks really bad. Um, the clear blue, though, looks really good. And then um, his transformation is really easy, but he has really short arms. But yeah, and his, eh. his shoulders sit unnaturally low. Yeah, it's not even the fact that they're cocked forward, forward that bother me. Like I yeah. thought it would. It's the fact that they're really low. Like they're almost to his midsection. Yeah, that's kind of weird, but um, I, I I like him. I like having him in my collection. I don't hate the figure, but I he is definitely. I will defend Universe Galvatron. I won't defend this guy. On, I don't think I can. 
Um, I mean, for people who have them and like them, yeah, awesome. More power to you. Because I've had like people. I've had a lot of people recommend them to me. I some guy I think on the last show, forgive me for for forgetting your name, but he he was like you you know, Wyatt I almost cried you know when he said you almost got it or or thought you were gonna get it or something. It's a good toy. Go get it. And I was like, oh well, hmm, okay. He received a full critical uh, slashing in my review. I hate it. I hate that. For a second, I thought, I thought you were talking about the person. I was going to say, that's really no, mean. No. <laughs> like, I I have him displayed in, in robot, uh, not robot, uh, car mode with my prime figures right now because that's the best, way, best way I can uh, tolerate him. I have two. Uh, he doesn't look bad. He looks pretty much exactly like the other Bumblebee, at least uh, just a little bit smaller. It doesn't look bad. It just. Uh, yeah, I, I dig the car mode a lot. He's, um. Uh, on a on my desk, the way my desk is set up, I have one of those uh, glass shelves off to the corner where a computer monitor can go. Yeah. And on top of that, I have my main prime display, and then on the bottom, I have my secondary display with Powerizer Prime, Deluxe, Cliff Jumper, this Bumblebee, and Wheel and uh, Wheeljack. I have uh, I'm looking at my shelf. I have a uh, Bumblebee and uh, the other Cliff Jumper both in car mode. Yeah. Um. But some good did come of it. His uh, his other blasters, I decided they looked better, and I put them on first edition. And then I took first edition's blasters because I got the New York Comic Con, so I have two. And I put those with first edition RC. And well, I cannot. Just, that just blew my mind. That's like so much swapping going on there that I'm confused. Well, um, uh, RC has swapping, done swapping. Personal stuff between women. Swap a swap opportunity. S- snowballing. Uh, ball it. Yeah. Ball it. Ball it. Ball it. Ball it. Um, but RC is so much better. Give her guns. Give her guns, and she's she's good. She's really good with guns. Maybe. Um, Always. I almost bought a Prime Season One today. Also. I. Yeah. But uh, the only reason I didn't. Is because I wasn't sure if it had a Darkness Rising, the five parter on it. Pretty sure it does. But if it did, then why would it they release that those first five episodes in its own uh set? Um, because they like money. And those other five they weren't on Blu ray, so Oh. I don't know. I had I just had to investigate it into a little bit more, but I definitely want it. It has uh audio commentaries with the episodes and i'm a i'm a commentary whore so and i that's that was the biggest thing for me so yeah arms micron terracon cliff jumper <laughs> that thing looks horrible it looks like it was dipped into like those um those super generic like uh uh easter egg kits like <laughs> it, it looked like it was dip, dipped into purple uh, vinegar and taken out. I um, I when I first saw it, my first reaction was double take. What the fuck? And I didn't know what it was. And then I looked at it. And I'm like, that it's a purple cliff jumper. And I guess the head sculpt is still the um, is still the same. It has like a gouged out eye and the messed up terracon face. It's just the paint job with mm-hmm. micron ports. And the micron ports actually don't look bad on it. Like, uh, the two in the back look like spoiler mounts, and the one up front, I didn't even know it was there until it was pointed out. Now, um... As an engine block. Are we, are we getting a Terracon cliff jumper in the United States? It hasn't been announced. I thought I thought I saw somewhere that we, we are. We're getting a first edition, or we, we were going to get a first edition one. But, but I, um, I, I, thought, I thought I saw it in the R.I.D. waves. I'm actually going to look into that right now. Yeah, I was about to say I'm going to look into um, that. But... I think it'd be cool if we did, though. If we got one, I don't know. I don't know if it'd be this or not, but this, I don't I don't hate that much. And on HLJ, he was $20, $20 I think. They're having a 20, yeah, 20% off sale, so he was $20 before shipping. And uh, he comes with this little Ravage, Revenge of the Fallen Ravage minicon that turns into a chainsaw. I guess, and um, and it looks cool. But if I can find them for cheap, I'll get them simply because I need more prime 
Decepticons because not including doubles of characters I have, I have six Autobots and three Decepticons. And I've heard rumors that the Viacon in Wave 3 of Prime is going to be short-packed. So it'll be a long time before I can find one of those. I was mistaken. There is no uh, Terracon uh, clip jumper. But, um, yeah, at first I was like, maybe this will be my only way of getting the mold. But the guy who I'm doing the trade with, who who I was unsure about, uh, like unsure about him going through with it, which if he didn't, fine. But he, he uh, PM'd me the other day. And he's like, hey, we still on for the trade? I, I'm getting paid soon. So um, the trade is for, and he even specified a, I'm trading him a, an RID sound wave or a PRID sound wave for a first edition clip jumper. And the problem is I got to find a, a PRID sound wave in storage. So if anyone in Columbus, Ohio knows where one is. I found one in my Target in a mix uh, of a thousand bumblebees. Some wheel jacks and a bunch more cliff jumpers out of like 20 or 30 deluxes in the whole target. One, one sound wave. Well, he is only one per case. Yeah. Um, fuck, I just had massive brain fart. Um, yeah, it looks ridiculous. Yeah. Also, I noticed if I don't know if you noticed, but if you look closely, his joints aren't black; they're like dark brown. Uh, are they? Let me see. Ew, they are. It's like a brown, brown purple. Yeah, it looks weird. I, I don't know if he if I can find him cheap somewhere, maybe. His uh, minicon is pretty cool though. Yeah, it turns into a ravage. Someone made someone made a really funny joke, and it actually made me uh, lol. Um, Lose. Lol, all, all over the floor. But they're here, and uh, it, it said, "I wonder if Takara got really confused and thought Terracon meant uh, Viacon, so they made him look like the leader of the Viacons." Yeah. And, yeah. and someone um, else made a funny joke, but I forget it, so it wasn't that funny. <laughs> uh, next thing I wanted to talk about is the Exvogen trailer for for us. It's the same people that made the uh, Grand Patriot. Uh, uh, Optimus Prime custom third party figure. Yep. Now this is a uh, custom trailer that yep. that will yep. that is compatible with both the uh uh fuck uh, the classics Optimus Prime and the Power Master Optimus Prime, just a regular figure. And wait, I'm, is this an add-on kit or some figure? It's an add-on kit. I have no idea. I can't even see where this thing... Like, this thing looks like an entirely new figure. Well, the... Look look at its, at the at the thing itself. The way that I have God Jinrai, which is the Japanese version of Power Master Optimus Prime. And the way it worked is that Optimus Prime would transform his truck... And his legs would fold up into his back, and then it would combine with this trailer, and it would, like, slide into his chest. See that massive hole in his chest? So, pretty much the truck mode is going into the chest. Yeah, and that that's how power... Oh, okay. Is, that's how it worked. Well, yeah, I know the the uh, the toy did that, the, uh, the, the God Jinrai, but... That's the way it, it happened in Master Force, too. Which, huh. and, um... They're looking at the hole though. It looks like there's either going to be gaps or there's going to be some shifting with the panels. But that looks like one oh. stiff piece, so so it can happen. Is this going to be the classics Voyager Prime? It's going to work. It's going to work with uh, Voyager Optimus uh, from the classics, and it's going to be compatible with the original uh, Power Master Optimus Ooh. Prime figure. And I know I've said I would never get another third party product again. Really. <laughs> But I Glad want this. I want this. I love God Jinrai. <laughs> and this thing looks fucking incredible. It looks cool. I just uh I'm a huge fan of Master Force. And when that when that set comes on DVD, which I believe is actually this month or the next, I'm picking that shit up. And I love God Jinrai. It's such what I it's it's one of my favorite uh G one ish characters. Is this even going to have any sort of vehicle mode? Well, yeah, it turns into a trailer. What? 
What the fuck? How? I know, but this is just photoshopped uh, colored images of the prototype. Yeah. Somehow it does. The guns look like uh, CG renders, but uh, I can tell from like the rest yeah, it's not. Mind. But I really want to see more pictures of this and and uh, really I can't imagine it. Oh, being... from the back I can see where panels transform. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I really want this, and um, I'm going to get it because. <laughs> It looks cool. It's a ma- it's go- it's a um, masterpiece scale. Dude, this thing's gonna co- cost upwards of two hundred dollars. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be that much. Masterpiece scale? That uh, that... it depends what if it's like old masterpiece scale or new masterpiece scale. Well, that uh, well, that, that's a good point. But that Mastermind Creations uh, Cyclops, which we recently saw, which looks cool. But that thing's masterpiece scale practically. It's above leader class, and that thing goes for 160. And that is a whole new figure. But these are also different companies. So. Yeah. Um, the company that this is this is the same company made Grand Patriot. I think. I don't know. They pretty I, much do G1 stuff or upgrade stuff because the Grand Patriot it looked cool. I liked it, but a lot of people I really didn't like it. Yeah, a lot of people really didn't like it. Um, and I thought it looked cool, just not for the price. Yeah, I, I'm I'm really digging this, and um, I feel like such Did a. Did you fucking... get Grand Patriot? No, I I saw several reviews on him, and just the the plastic quality looked horrible. The the joints seemed seemed really tight and squeaky, and it just not did not look like a fun toy at all. And I didn't I didn't care for the design much either. It was based off a G.I. Joe cartoon, I believe. Now, this is something that I I I heard about, but I have not looked into. And it's the uh, BotCon Final Five contestants for the uh, Hall of Fame. Yeah. Who, who are they? I'm pissed off about this, kind of. I, I want to be pissed off, but I don't know if I fully can be. The Final Five, though, are Skybite. RC, Wheeljack, Beast Wars Megatron, and Rodimus Prime. Beast Wars Megatron is going to win. Beast Wars Megatron is going to win. Yeah, Def- no, no quite. I, uh, so Swindle, he, didn't, he got swindled. <sighs> from all the sites I read from, I read this, the, the votes, the end of the polls for TFW 2005, Sabertron, and Cybertron.ca. And those all had Swindle up in the top five, if not top three. And those are th- the three of the main contending, um, uh, like mo- like well-known Transformer sites. And I'm pretty sure more had Swindle on there. And I really do not find it physically possible or even any way that Rodimus and Skybite got onto this list, but Swindle did not. And I feel that it was purposefully that ha- Hasbro or Fun Pub or I. F- Whoever whoever picked these went up and went, oh, well, we can't have Swindle because he's another joke. Which Swindle, for some people, he wasn't a joke. Swindle is a Decepticon that in G1 really did have personality. He had his own episode, episode where he sold off the rest of the Combaticons. And I'm sorry, that's, the episode's kind of weird, but that was fucking hilarious. He sold his teammates mm-hmm. just because. Swindle and Swindle had a great animated character, and he's going to be in Fall of Cybertron. Swindle is a Decepticon with character, and he's in a bunch of comic books. And I like Swindle, though I did have to support the fact that part of his, if not all, well, it couldn't have been all, because some people voted for him for his character, but then some people held the campaign of because of what happened with the TFCC and their credit card shenanigans, which I understood. If I'd been hit with a credit card, um, fraud because of that and then their reactions to it which it wasn't much of their reaction it was their practice of the reaction of waiting three weeks or so to get a response so i see why the swindle wasn't there but i really disagree with with them pretty much saying oh we can't have swindle let's remove him and all right who's the who's the runner-up for swindle and to fill his spot and there i don't see this in any way that swindle did not make the top five i i think that was inside where they went nope we can't have swindle and I understand because of last year, because of the Erector joke, but Swindle is half not a joke. So they really didn't take that into consideration. Skybite is cool. 
I, I don't mind Skybite, but I don't I didn't see him get enough votes to really prepare for this. Um, RC, I like RC, but you know whatever. Wheeljack, I don't understand what Wheeljack's done so much of to get this, but okay. Beast Wars Megatron, I don't like the thought of the Hall of Fame having two Megatrons, but he's an amazing character. And Rodimus, I think Rodimus should be one of the ones that we automatically induct in next year, not just we have to vote for. If I were, if I cared enough to vote, Rodimus would get mine, cause yeah, I, I think I'm, I'm RC or Rodimus fan. would get mine. I, I, even though I do really dig, uh, Beast Wars Megatron, I think he's a fucking awesome character. I, I would not, uh, vote for him just because I know he's gonna win. I want to, I would give, want to give someone else a fighting chance. You know. It's upsetting though. Like literally, everyone's like, "All right, who are we gonna vote for next year? Let's start thinking of next year's campaigns," and that's awful because, I mean, there's no way Megatron's not gonna win, and that just kind of makes me think of next year. Like, who's the shoe in that they're gonna throw in next year? Like, who's the next? Because the past three years have been Beast Wars characters, and this year, this year's gonna be the third Beast Wars, and that, I don't like that. How the Hall of Fame has become is like, all right, let's induct. Let's let the uh, the people behind it induct three G1s, and then let's let the fan pick a Beast Wars. That's how it's been. Next year, I can see Rat Trap pulling the fuck away, and I really don't want that because I'm sorry, Rat Trap, you didn't do that. Much. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, this... I'm, glad, I'm glad you re- read into things because I, whenever I go through the news sites, I, I, I saw them like uh, credit card fraud. Yeah, fuck that. Skip on. Because I, I honestly never read into that shit because hmm. I don't care really but like not enough to like hold on hold on this is top news I gotta read this I'm like ooh pictures of uh, Bruticus I'll look at that because I uh, and um, you there um, and it, Wyatt oh no uh, what's going on? Connecting. Skype call. Connecting. Oh, God. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I, I, he, I saw, I heard that he was, um, that was real staticky earlier. Hmm. Well, ladies and gentlemen, probably more gentlemen. Yeah, he's now completely offline. Oh. Let me get him on Twitter. See what's going on. This is riveting fake radio, guys, let me tell you. If this ruins the show, I'll, I'm going to be really kind of sad. Um, well, I guess, uh, what the, yeah, I, I don't really care about the Hall of Fame because I really don't care what other people think deserves to be Hall of Fame, which is something that's fan-made anyway. So, yeah. Um... I guess I'll talk about something that wasn't really a uh, send me tweet. Hold on. No, he didn't. Never mind. Um, the Australian Toy Fair happened. The only really interesting thing that we saw is uh, Transformers Prime Optimus Maximus. That thing looks fucking cool. Which is a big base that converts into a robot. And I didn't realize that... Uh, you can actually put in the uh, Cyberverse Prime, out Optimus Prime inside him. So it becomes like a a big mech suit for him. That's pretty cool. Oh, God. I hope he gets back on. I don't know what to do. Oh, no. I sent him a thing on Twitter. And he hasn't said anything back. <laughs> well, um, 
I don't want to ruin the show, so I'm just going to keep on going. But his chat's gone, and he had the, <laughs> um, he had the the list of what we'll be talking about there. Let me see if I can. Oh, uh, don't call him because he's not on. Mm-hmm. Uh oh! Oh wait, there it is. Um, hey, hey, there, there he is. He came back on. Let me give him a call. So, what was that all about? Oh, you know, just someone in the house thought it'd be a good idea to restart the modem without <laughs> checking if someone was doing something. Yeah, I, uh, you, know, you, you'll have fun listening to that bit. Oh, oh man. Because I, I had a heart attack. Had a heart attack? Mm-hmm. I was freaking out. Oh, oh no. Um, yeah. Oh, uh, one thing I actually wanted to talk about briefly was, well, I kind of already talked about it, um, without you. (gasps) Well, it was the uh, (laughs) Australian Toy Fair. Oh. We had more more pictures of the Optimus Maximus figure from Transformers Prime. I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. I'm really excited. I look forward to your review of that. I didn't realize that you could actually put in the uh, Commander Optimus Prime inside the chest. Yeah, that thing is sculpted for that Commander Optimus Prime. I think that's fucking awesome. It pretty be- cool. It becomes like a uh, Fortress Maximus type deal, <laughs> which I guess is why it's called Maximus. Irony. No, not irony. It's just kind of. I don't know. Nothing's irony, but uh, irony. Ir- that's what I said. You said irony. Irony. You said irony. No, I didn't. You did. No, I didn't. Listeners. BTS Ravage and Night Fang. Oh, oh man. Oh man, I like these. Do you? I do. I, I like I them did, a lot. I didn't pay much attention to them. But let me go look at them. Where are they? Where are they? I don't know. I think Where the second they? or third page of TFW. Oh, I see them. They're in the first. You're off. Oh well, sh- well, I'm talking about the pictures I'm talking about. These, well, those are the combined pictures. Please, yeah. The Ravage looks weird. Ravage looks weird, but I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. But yeah, I really don't mind. I think it, they look cool. I really, I really dug the look. Of the um, the BTS frequency and tremor, which really? is Rumpel and Finzi. Yeah, I thought I, I did not like the look of them at all. I have music they, label they, sound wave, and I thought they would have looked pretty sweet with them because of the spindliness. You have, uh, you have music label sound wave. I do. Which which color? Blue. Sparkly. I, blue. I, I I thought about getting that a while ago when it first came out, but I never just went through with the purchase. I got one. He ranges for like ninety dollars now, and I found one on from some guy. I bought him from bombs from from some guy on TFW, and that that was an unpleasant transaction. Why was that? Because um, this is when I had to pay for stuff via money order because I had no credit card. I still have no credit card actually. I just you know I I, I pretty much give whoever's card I'm borrowing cash, and then I daddy. Can I mainly my dad. Money? I've used I've used my friends. Uh, before but it's mainly my dad so but uh yeah i give them the money but this is when i had used money order and this was back in october and it was for 50 dollars, i think because it was open and when i asked him for a picture he was like um okay it looks like the same i'm like well i want to make sure i'm not buying some busted fuck thing and when i asked him if the uh the sd port worked and he's like i don't know i've never used it and he, he just said it you know just kind of a condescending tone and i'm like all right well, money order. And this was a week that I had a convention. I'm like, hey, the money order is going to be going out three days late because I have a convention this week. And, you know, first comes first because this money was put towards this before the transaction and all of that because he found it via my want list. And um, it was for 50 something dollars. And during my convention, I get I get on my phone to check TFW and tell people, you know, what I'm seeing in the dealer room. And I get like two PMs, one saying, hey, where is it? And the next one saying, hey. If I don't receive payment by tomorrow, I'm sending it to someone else. 
And to which I just kind of looked at with squinted eyes saying, all right, um, no, that's not going to happen. So I told him, like, hey, you're getting your payment. So if you sell it to someone else, that's fraud, and you're going to be owing me 50-something dollars once that money order comes. It's on the way. I don't understand why, you know, m mail takes a couple days, sir. I'm sorry. You're getting your payment. Please calm down, and please refrain from contacting me until payment comes. And to which I never got a reply until it came. He's like, all right, I got it. Thanks, man. And he packaged it and sent it. Though when I got it, <laughs> fucking I, bipolar. <laughs> I opened it up. The I still have the music label box. And though all he did was he threw Soundwave and his accessories in a plastic bag and threw those in the music label box with no bubble. So I got it and it was shaking around on the inside. Nothing was wrong with it. <laughs> but you know, I was like, what the fuck? This. <laughs> But anyway, that that's a rant. But I I dig to look at these. Oh, rat bat. Oh man, that looks awesome. I could give two shits about them. Oh, if you could care less, you should have the satisfaction of buying them. But just send them to me. Uh, I, I'm still yet to get tremor and frequency, but I really do plan to. I, I want these. I dig the looks of them. I think they they're cool neo classics type things, and uh, I I don't know. These are third-party stuff I can get into, though we just need a laser beak, and I'll be extremely happy. Uh, Transformers Prime Season 3 confirmed. Yep, it was confirmed. Hooray. It. There we go. It was confirmed. Uh, I'm glad. I'm, I was actually a little bit worried for a little bit when uh, G.I. Joe Renegades was canceled. Well, G.I. Joe Renegades was a bad show, and it was had like it? no audience, so I didn't care for it. I watched it. I didn't like it. I never really liked G.I. Joe, though, so maybe I'm biased. I didn't uh, go into it really expecting I, anything. I know someone who likes G.I. Joe. Who's that? <laughs> my, my, my Twitter stalker. Uh, Hold on a second. What? But yeah, season three has been, uh, been confirmed. And I'm pretty sure Prime uh, won an award, so I don't think it was that, uh, that scary. And then Peter Cullen a while ago in an interview said that they were... Uh, preparing for season three and i think that he's going to be going into that soon so i think it was a given that there's going to be a season three mm -hmm. and if there's a season four it'll be the first actual transformer show with an actual season four so well i don't even think you count season well well no well the headmasters of g1 was technically season four yeah but season three was in america and that was no, the Headmaster uh, three parts was called season four in the United States. That's why on the DVD, uh, on the DVD that it says uh, seasons three and four, and season four is Headmasters. Yeah, it is. It is. Um, so it's still technically season four, but not as they aired. It was aired. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I, I'm saying back then, it is t technically season four now, but back then, no, there was only uh, three seasons of G1. No. Headmasters followed a different storyline. Like Beast Wars and Beast Machines? No, it was season four, technically, because it, 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 it did not air with season three. That, that, that's why it's... Guess what, guys? Prime season three was confirmed. You're you're confused. You're, you're saying, misled. You you're saying that season four was originally part of season three. It was not. No, that's that's. I'm not saying it's part of season three. Uh, you're like a woman. You are uh, discriminative of women. Orion Pax Part Three aired last week. Are we ready to talk about this, or have we covered all our news, or? Yeah, they, that's what he had on next. Huh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, like I said at the beginning, it was a really short news week. Well, Orion Pax Part 3 premiered, and it was cool. Yeah, I, I dug it. It was a really cool episode. Insecticon I, is fucking huge. Yeah, that I didn't think it'd be that big, and I RC's thought, yeah. freaking god. I was kind of upset with the scale on that episode, because I thought... I thought that um, Insecticon was huge, and then when later on near the end of the episode where 
RC and Jack come back to the space bridge. Megatron fucking grabs RC yeah, yeah, as if I she's a deluxe size Transformer <laughs> I and smashed that. her against the wall. I'm like, whoa, what the hell? Like, I had no idea she was that small compared to Megatron. Uh, I, I have to think that was an exaggeration. Yeah. Um, but I dug the episode. I, I, it was kind of, kind of weird. Uh, I don't think it was weird. I, I I see why some people didn't dig it that much. It was practically anticlimactic too. So. No, I I don't think it was anticlimactic. I just thought the climax was is very short. Like it was actually just a uh, second. Because um. Guns of the Fallen. Well, um, I, I, I really enjoyed how Peter Cullen, like, just made mm-hmm. subtle changes between Optimus Prime and Orion Pax. You could tell just by hearing him that he was back. Uh, not just, like, what he was saying, but just his tone. Like, Orion Pax has such, a, like, a naive, innocent tone to his voice where he's so unsure of himself. Like, even when Jack came back through the space bridge and held up the... Uh, I loved that line. He, sa- he says, are you sure I'm worthy? And Jack goes, you have no idea. And oh, that then, was an amazing line, though. Mm-hmm, that gave me goose pimples. Someone right. said... Someone had a really funny uh, quote on Twitter, and I have to half agree. Uh, rest in peace, Transformers Prime, Optimus Prime's personality, November 2011 to March 2012. Why? Because Orion packs had so much personality, and Transformers Aww. Prime Optimus has. I'm sorry. It's it's it's, it's uh, generic Optimus Prime. Yeah, it, but hopefully, I I really hope that this can trigger something, and something that was also half upsetting, or not really upsetting, but I hope they actually do something with it, not throw it away. Had, uh, excuse me, had um, Optimus remembered everything, Megatron betraying him, and how. Megatron reacted and how Megatron's ship ran would have been cool. I don't Though, understand why he doesn't remember being as Orion Pax. I can understand why when he was when he turned back into Orion Pax, why he wouldn't remember all the stuff being a prime. But I don't understand why he wouldn't remember uh being with Megatron sexually. I don't know. I, I guess it's because that part really confused me. Like it's still... it does it does confuse you because it's, it's like all right, well, when he became Optimus Prime, did he ever forget being Orion Pax? But obviously not. So yeah, that that whole thing is kind of plot hole. It's just it's kind of a big device just to uh, make uh, tension, I guess. Uh, but yeah, it, uh, it was, maybe it was really... I I do hope though that uh, later on. This kind of triggers something for Optimus, like, I'm remembering something, and maybe just some sort of, and then, you know, Ratchet giving the line, you know, this truly has been our darkest hour, hopefully enlightens Optimus to having more of a personality, and, you know, realizing certain things. And um, But uh, Operation Bumblebee actually aired today. I didn't I, see it. I, I, me neither, because yep. I, actually, <laughs> I actually checked, I do not get the hub on my cable. No, I do. I have it recorded, but the TV is taken when I went to I went to watch it. The the people that there's a couple people that upload new episodes on YouTube, and uh, they haven't uploaded them yet. That I'm subscribed to. Yeah, they're only up for a, a little bit though. Yeah. Until they get taken down, and then they get mirrored, and then it's annoying. Mm, yeah, that's. Rude. But uh, I I don't know. Operation Bumblebee looks cool, though. I guess it's some uh, in- internal conflict or internal conflict with Bumblebee and his his allegiance to the team. But, yeah, normally we record on Friday, so that's why we're kind of speculating about the new episode because normally we don't get to do that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, new part of the show. Q&A. Woo. Oh, uh, I get to open real quick. Yeah. We have uh, listener, I guess they're listener questions from people who, who like our show or at least want shout-outs for free. If you do that, um, I guess we, we, won't, we won't know. Um, but at least it gives us something to talk about. Since it is a very short news week. Yep, thank you. And we're just going to cover, depending on how much traffic we get with the questions... It it will depend on how many we answer in a week, 
Um, but this week we have two uh, two listeners, so two separate listeners, a uh, series of questions. So, um, yep. Uh, right. shall, shall I read, uh, shall yeah, I read one on, off? Go on. Want to? Yeah. So say who, who it is first and then go on. All right. This comes from Mark. He is Tformer0607 on YouTube. His, his question is, um, what is your opinion on customs? I'm assuming Transformers customs. Is a Transformer a Transformer if it doesn't transform? And if you could customize any Transformer, what would it be? Well, I've done a few customs. I have, uh, I have as well. Um, one I've been extensively working on is uh, I made a leader class fallen figure out of two. Well, actually, technically three fallen figures. Three. Well, because I used the head off of the uh, hunt for the Decepticons oh. one, so it's mostly two, but some are three. And um, I there, I I need to finish some touch up paint jobs on it because I really want to do a video about it even though I'm really late in the game as far as that goes mm -hmm. and I've been uh doing slowly been doing a repaint of my leader class sentinel which I just need to get some more paint for him and he'll be done but there there's some customizers out there that are really fucking amazing like this one uh, guy who's really popular inclined designs yeah he his are is are fantastic, and most of the time he even still includes a transformation. Mm -hmm. Sometimes though, it's more like statues. Yeah, though uh, Frenzy Rumble is the one who recently most of his are a lot, a lot of his do not transform, which is upsetting. Um, I I've done customs as well. Um, I only I don't really display them much, and I've had a couple of them break and kind of not go well. Those two were. I tried making a prowl out of a Revenge of the Fallen jolt, though I haven't given up hope on that. And then I took an extra Revenge of the Fallen dirge, and uh, turned it or tried turning it into Ramjet, and that's also never been completed. Um, but those are in a box. And then I did. Oh, my first custom I ever did back in '09 was a. Or no, this was 2010. Um, very early, like January. Um, I did. I took my original broken, uh, pretty pretty much broken. He his pack his backpack, uh, snapped off. Um, an original Voyager Ironhide, and I turned I painted him red, and did G one colors, and it looked pretty cool. I had some silver. I dry brushed him a little bit, and he actually looked really cool, um, with the type of paint I used, and I forget what type of paint, but I was pretty pleased with that. I just don't have room to display him. But then the two other costumes I've displayed are, um, a uh. My um, uh, my late brother donated these to me for customs, and uh, I have them displayed now as a a deluxe animated Megatron as Galvatron, and uh, deluxe animated Optimus Prime as Nemesis Prime. And I thought those two came out pretty well, or at least good enough to to where I, I can appreciate them. And then me and him also painted a Revenge of the Fallen Optimus Prime into our own collaboration type deal. But yeah, I um I I've dabbled in customs, but though I normally don't do it unless I have a factory version, mm -hmm. because if I mess up, then I'm gonna be upset. And like, or but modifications, I normally do modifications if I'm really like annoyed. Because Revenge of the Fallen Megatron, I did cut his arm off and then on his murder arm and added a a um a ratchet joint from a Lego Knights Kingdom figure. Yeah. So. Uh, customs, yeah. Um, I see no fault with them. I I don't. Uh, I have no problem with them either because what people do with their own figures is uh, no one else's business but their own. Yeah. And though, if you if you like doing it, that's all all great and dandy. But there are some I've seen a lot, and there are some people that really shouldn't be doing customs because there's some really bad ones out there too. I've known some people who have literally ruined figures, and I've borrowed, uh, or not borrowed, but I've seen them. And I'm like, oh, poor, poor you. But um, and then I there's a guy on TFW now. I, I his username is escaping me, but he's Jesse's favorite anime, Naruto. Oh God. Um, <laughs> he did a um, he took um, uh, reveal the shield, Bumblebee, turn it into Naruto, and then recently he took a Sunstreaker turned it into Kakashi, and he took a hound and turned it into Shikamaru. 
And with that, I'm going to follow up on what I've been wanting to do for a while, but just tweaking it um, with extra figures I have. I'm going to be turning mostly or mostly or mainly prime figures into Akatsuki members from Naruto. So that's something I'd like to do simply to have a fun crossover and actually dabble more into customizing. Is a transformer a transformer if it doesn't transform? Yeah. Yeah, because but... Because it, it's, it's a brand. It's, it's a uh, brand, but though I I don't know if he means a transformer, like robot replica transformer, or because this this also goes back to in 2009 when um, Ravage came out and people were really upset that he had a really crappy alt mode. But my, my rebuttal to that was if I were to buy a mainline transformer toy that was not marked as did not transform and I, I bought a deluxe transformer and it didn't transform, I would be a little bit upset. Um, not upset really, but if I, I if I'm buying a transformer that's not a gimmick toy like a robot replica or a power bot or anything like that, I would be a little bit upset. Well, the uh, so I don't know exactly plus, where this question comes from. It, uh, yeah, well, and the dual model kit. Yeah, in Japan, those are transformers, and they well, they kind of do since they transform from pieces of plastic into one big <laughs> piece of plastic. But um, yeah, like I get, Creo, I too. Get, yeah. I, I built two Creos today too. So. Oh god, I, um, I I I don't like Creos at all. You haven't ever messed with one, have you? No, I have no desire to. <laughs> but then uh, again, then there's other. Uh, wait, what was that? But it's, uh, then again, they're they're fun. I, I built the big Megatron, big Optimus, but. Um, in the last part of his question, if you could customize any Transformer, what would it be? Well, I already did it. It was the Fallen, because that's something I really wanted to do. I think if I had to choose one to, if this is, I don't know if this question is to do a custom and have it come out perfect, or do one and have it, you know, come out either or, depending on your skill set. It, it's a toss in the air for me. I would like to. I don't know. I'd like to make a really good Revenge of the Fallen Devastator, but I know that's. <laughs> I mean, you, this is that's customizing, not not a uh, not magic, and uh, magic. wonder, or um, any of that. But I, I think mine would probably be a Revenge of the Fallen Fallen. But then seeing now movie designs, they've kind of almost lost their touch. But I don't know it's a toss up for me. I I don't really know. I think maybe a Revenge of the Fallen Fallen or a um. I think it'd be cool to really do something with my um, Ultimate Optimus Prime. Throw it in the garbage? Uh, that reminds me of when I was trying... So, uh, let's jump off the question for a second. Uh, back in '09, when I got my Revenge of the Fallen Jetfire and Optimus for Christmas, um, I was transforming them. I'm trying to combine them into power-up mode. But as anyone who owns Jetfire knows, he is a hoarded transformer to transform. He, no matter what you're turning him into, he's going to give you trouble. Um, if, you just, to... if you just touch it, it'll be a pain in the ass. Because he'll fall over because he has really like short knee joints. And Jetfire was a transformer I was really disappointed with. Um, but what he, he literally would not tab together. And I was working on this for an hour plus, just sitting there tinkering with it. And I finally got so upset, I turned in my chair, picked up the two figures, and I threw them into my trash can. <laughs> well, the jet fire, where they con connected, they split apart. And Optimus fell on the ground, and jet fire went to the trash can. Though when they hit, I guess the shock of hitting the metal trash can hit it so bad to where... The one tab that Jetfire had clicked, um, that wouldn't click on the other leg, had snapped the hinge. And the hinge was so stiff it wouldn't click anymore, so I had to replace the uh, that uh, that ratchet. But I did replace it. Now the Jetfire's fine, but yeah. I, thought was, I thought that was kind of funny. And it was, like, that figure made me so mad after that. I There was one instance where my friends still kind of poke at it. Uh, I, I was doing something. I was trying to thing is when Skype had free calls, and I got so mad, I just threw it onto my bed, but I didn't want to hurt it, but I was so angry, so I, like, threw a, a blanket on top of it and started punching the shit out of it. Like, oh, I've had some fun instances with Revenge of the Fallen Jetfire that really bring out my inner uh, anger management. <laughs> but, oh, man, that, that toy. Yeah. 
Um, next next uh, user. Or next user. Next user. This Percy. comes from uh, Gary, uh, who is Dragonlord2200 on YouTube. Slash that guy on Skype who is friends with Wyatt XD. Yup. I talked to you, Gary. I'll probably talk to you uh, later, Gary. 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 And... Ah, Gary. Gary, why did you have... I think it would have been awesome if my cat would have came in and meowed. But... Uh... Uh, all right. The question reads, Hello, kind sirs. I have two questions for you guys. One, if you guys had to pick any characters from Genu- Generation 1 and Beast Wars to get a figure that has not been done in the previous Classics line, who would it be and why? Two, <laughs> if Creo made Beast Wars sets, mm. who would you want to be made? Like, <laughs> top five, if you would. Thanks, guys. Love the podcast. I play... I play it all the time while I'm at work. Well, thanks. Uh, that's that's pretty that's pretty fucking awesome. And, yeah, uh, I think it's awesome that we've made iPods um, from Gary, that guy on Skype who was friends with White. I'm friends mm-hmm. with with the Gary too. Um, but um, if you had to pick any character from Generation One and Beast Wars to get a figure, um, Generation One, I guess I would pick Gajin Ryan. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um. Fortress Maximus, I guess. Oh shit! Oh my god! <laughs> that, that 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 would be the one I'd pick because I'm. Geez, why not? Because <laughs> it, I think it, if they modernize that figure, it'd be fucking amazing. Um, and Beast Wars in a classics line. Um, Tiger Hawk. Because I really dig the design, and plus I never got around to getting the original r- original Tiger Hawk. Oh, yeah. Um, that's all I got. Um, Classics, a G1 character that I want to see in Classics that hasn't been done yet. Most of my favorite characters have been done, at least, but... And who those who haven't, I have incarnations of in some way, shape, or form... Like, I have Music Label Soundwave. I have Inner John Shock Blast as my Shockwave. And, um, like, I have Classic Devastator, even though he he's an Inner John mold. And I have Prime Pink RC as my RC. So it's kind of a tough question. Though an actual G1 character I'd want to see a new figure of would probably be... Uh, I'd go to Japanese for this and probably either uh, Wing uh, Wing Saber, um, Wing Saber or like uh, Victory Leo, because mean Star Saber. Well, yeah, but I was that's why I was also going to go into um, Unicron trilogy what do two. You mean Wing Saber. Wing Saber was uh, from I think Energon or Cybertron, but that's another thing. Um, he was oh. a reference to Star Saber. Yeah. Um, I don't know if this question. I don't think it's also into, includes Unicron trilogy, but um, I think it'd be cool to get some uh, revamped classic. No, nothing really specific right now, but because I think you know maybe in the future we'll get a question like this, and I I think we should keep getting questions. I don't want to answer questions we haven't gotten yet, but I think if we uh, did get um, another uh, look or maybe throwing some Unicron trilogy in to classics would be kind of cool. Though, yeah, Star Saber and Victory Leo would be really cool to see Voyagers of in classics. And Beast Wars, I don't personally have that much of an emotional connection to Beast Wars. Though, characters I think it would be really cool to see would be, uh, or a character would be cool to see, would be Tarantulas. Because it's a fucking awesome design. I, uh, you don't have, do you have any Beast Wars figures? I have the classics versions and I have a Beast Wars Cheetor. I have the rare one with red eyes. I w- you should get the uh, 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 original Transmetal Tarantulas figure because that figure still oh. hold- that fi- figure still holds up because I actually got him out of my trunk of a uh, miscellaneous uh, Transformers and that that thing still holds up to this day as being a great toy. Oh, it does look cool. I- I've looked for him, um, but like I can't find him for that cheap. Like yeah, it's not expensive, but nothing that you know. There's only a few figures that I'll pay a lot of money for. He was my first trans metal. I found hey. him. I found him at a KB Toys, long time ago when it first came out. Um, I 
If Korea made Beast Wars sets, who would you want to be made? Um, Beast Wars alone. Uh, d- top five? D- uh, don't care. <laughs> that's, I... that's my answer. Don't no, care. no offense to uh, to Gary or anything. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna, t- I'm gonna tweak the uh, the question a little bit. Um, I'm gonna tweak the question a little bit. I don't really care for Beast Wars, but I guess I, one one set I think it'd be cool would be Dinobot. Just having a Lego dinosaur that is a transformer would be kind of cool. But that's the only one I can really back up. Though Creo sets I think would be cool to see as one we're already getting is Devastator. But then another one would would be cool to see would be um, would I think be of uh, Rekgar because he's made of junk, so it'd be kind of cool to build him or any type of junk on. And then maybe Rodimus Prime and see how they do him would be cool. Uh, two more. Fortress Maximus. <laughs> Fortress Maximus. Uh, and uh, uh, Erector. <laughs> Swindle. <laughs> we need a swindle. Yeah, yeah, right. I think Voltron would, would make a good Creo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but yeah. but speaking of Voltron, have you seen the fucking size of that Maddie collector Voltron figure? Yeah, that, that uh, I think huge. the arm is as big as Hercules. Oh, man. Uh, Even though amazing. the combined figure looks kind of crappy, I, I think the Masterpiece Voltron looks a lot better. But that thing is cool just on scale alone. That thing's huge. I'm wearing a Voltron t-shirt right now as well. Defenders of the universe. It says that on the bottom. <laughs> uh, feature... I didn't mean to tweak your, your question, Gary. but, uh, but, that, but... Was, that was a really obscure question, but that's all right. It's just kind of hard to answer. Yeah. Thank you, though. Yeah. Uh, send any further questions that you have or topic discussions things to... Uh, to... Uh, Primecast Quanda at uh, gmail dot com. That is Transformers or Prime Prime, <laughs> Primecast Q and A at gmail dot com. Just send whatever question you can think um, of. Um, Nothing creepy though. Um, you know. Primecast Q and A. Quanda. Okay. We need a theme song. So, yeah. Oh, well, hey. Oh, hey, what, hey. what, what? Guess what? What? I got bot shots. More of them. Bot shots? Woo! Son of a bitch. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. You're going to like what I'm about to say. Get back here. Please, I'm sorry. I'll change. All I'm right. sorry, to change. All okay, right. but guess what? What? I got Bumblebee and Sentinel. And guess what? I said guess what? I said oh, oh. What? They're defective. <laughs> I can tell you they're defective. They don't no, tra- they legitimately don't fucking effective. The uh, the bumblebee when I s- take him and smash him, only his hood pops up and his left arm flops out, but the rest of him doesn't transform. And the Sentinel Prime drags, so you can't really like roll him. And even when you do, he's so top heavy, his feet will just like open and spring out from under him, but he won't stand up. So I saw bot shots at Walmart today. Did you buy him? No. <laughs> I saw. Uh, Did you think about tri- it? I, no, I saw movie trilogy Optimus Prime. I was like, "Oh, hey, I'd rather look at this." Bot shots. You can you can buy like a whole set of bot shots. They did. They did have the uh, Optimus and Megatron with the launchers. I was like, "Oh, they did. Those yeah. look neat." But no, they don't. I, I think they look. They neat. don't look neat. Can't you, defend them. You look neat. Um, I do look neat, especially mm-hmm. in my. Uh, in my uh, birthday underwear. <laughs> but you can't mess with my Voltron swag. Swag. Um, I've been on a Studio Ghibli f- uh, craze lately. Studio Ghibli? Ghibli. 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 I, I, really, I really like Ponyo. Really? 
That's yeah. the that's the uh, Miyazaki film that people really don't care for. Uh, one of my favorite movies. I've is heard one. I've heard a lot of people really like that one though. I haven't seen all of Ponyo yet, though. I I need to see uh, the Miyazaki uh, actually hand drew all the water scenes. Huh? Because he he wanted it done a certain way, and he just like took it upon himself and like fuck it, I'll do it. God damn! God. <laughs> need something done? Yeah, do it yourself. You fucking but, uh, people! I wanted this shit done yesterday. I think it, I forget exactly what's called the uh, the Secret World of Arietti, the new one. Yeah, that, that's um, actually based on the book, The Borrowers, that I read a long time ago. I need to see the movie. I heard it's pretty good though. But my favorite, uh, I think one of, if not my favorite Miyazaki movie, is uh, Whisper of the Heart, which is one a lot of people really don't know of. I don't know know of that one. It's not. It's nothing like spiritual, like Spirited Away, or nothing crazy like Castle in the I Sky. I don't care for Spirited Away. I I like it, but yeah, I'm not the guy who's like my favorite anime movie is Spirited Away, because that's my wife likes Spirited Away though. Ironically, I I think it's I think it's cool, which is not my my favorite because it's not overhyped because it is an incredible movie. But I like Whisper of the Heart because it's really simple. It's about um this this one uh, middle school girl middle school girl. And this is an older one. Um, this is where the animation where everyone's faces look like exactly the same. Mm-hmm. And um, it's pretty much about this uh, middle school girl, and they're about to go into high school, and they're ha- taking their end of uh, you know their end exams, and she reads all these like these tales and stuff, and they she has no idea what she wants her career to be, um, which people are have to having to pick now, kids, and um, she has no idea, but she's been reading a lot of books, um, the, these like fairy tales. And from the library, though, whenever she um, checks them out, she's been noticing on the same cards of all the books she's been getting. There's this boy's name. Uh, his name is uh, Seiji Yamasawa. And she begins to kind of look for him. And she come to find out that he had been checking out the books all the whole time just to get her attention. Because apparently she never even noticed him and he was interested in her because they read the same type of book. And he's a viol- he wants to be a violin maker and... She comes to realize she wants to be a writer, and then, uh, I don't know, it's a cute movie, but I think it is a neat story. Uh, you lost me a while ago. <laughs> well, I didn't lose the listeners, and that's why I like them more than mine. And then I, like them. I like Princess Mononoke. That's one I haven't been able to watch full through, not because I don't like it, it's because whenever I try to watch it, it's been like 12 or 1 a.m., and I fall asleep just because. I first saw it uh, in college many years ago and uh it's years ago and I, I i really that's the that was the first one i ever saw uh oh i really like the cat returns too that cat fun. returns oh, that's the thing about whisper of the heart that cat um his, yeah his, that cat was in the dream sequence actually yeah um that's the, now that sounds really familiar now yeah but, um it was his name in the in the movie she found this antique shop Baron. of the Baron, yeah, and she wrote a book about the Baron. Yeah, that's why it's called the Cat Returns, I guess. Yep, because it's a, it's pretty much an, like a story of him. Um, which is really cool, which makes you guys want to go watch uh, the Cat Returns and uh, Whisper of the Heart. Did you see Ponyo? That's that's why I said I haven't seen all of it. Oh, no, I just think it's funny that the kid's name is uh, I think it's Sasuke. Yeah, <laughs> Sasuke. Yeah. I want ham. Guess guess who else's name is, is Sasuke? Uh, something I guess Naruto. Yeah, Sasuke Uchiha. That's what pissed me off too. So earlier in the week, that's something else I got this week. I nothing huge, but I ordered from Entertainment Earth uh, from Amazon um, a set of twenty five clear figure stands for three and three four inch figures for my Star Wars figures, and those things are fucking huge. I can't even fit all my figures onto the uh, onto the um, onto my shelf. So I had to take a few off, including clones. Anyway, the I open up the box. I'm like, why the fuck is this box so huge for a little pack? And I open it up, and I guess it's because with every package they send out, they send out uh, their magazine. And let me get the magazine here. The magazine is cool, but how they packaged it, the magazine came all crumpled and really creased and kind of weird. And the magazine's cool until I get to the back. And the back has a section of, what's it called? Uh... And this is for spring 2012, and I have no idea why they have some stuff in here for spring 2012. But, um, hear me flipping, flipping, uh, pages, but, uh, yeah, 
this section is called girls and gaming and they pretty much have a bunch of adults only statues where you can like remove lingerie and stuff and i i don't know kind of weird and it's they, they have more of that stuff in here that i would that i would like to come from an actual uh from an actual uh, store like this but i don't really mind myself i just think it's kind of uh kind of odd but i would like to find what i'm looking for just because it really made me face palm and wonder why people don't do research before they market what they're trying to sell. If I don't find it, it's not that big of a deal, but. Before I forget, what's the password? Password? Mm hmm. Um, adults only. Adults only. All right. All right. This is exactly what it says. Um, this is for the uh, Project BM Naruto figures. Um, th this one's fine. Uh, they, for every, um, for, for most of the products, they have a little, uh, they have a little tagline thing. And this one is just, uh, for, there's Naruto and Sasuke. And this one is, it says Uzumaki Naruto. And it's, you know, this PVC figure is Uzumaki Naruto. comes with trademark weaponry, a cloth costume, interchangeable head, da 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 But then it goes to Sasuke. And they don't even name Sasuke. They, 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 uh, remark to him as Naruto's rival. Which is true, but still... And then the first thing it reads, it, Uzumaki Sasuke is made of... Wait. Huh. <laughs> well, see, I didn't know Sasuke was Naruto's brother, but then again, it's not. And what's pretty funny is the whole point of Sasuke's character is that he's an Uchiha. His name is Sasuke Uchiha. Like, I'm but nope. So, I'm so glad I have no idea what that means. It's just his name. It, it doesn't mean anything. You, you're hating this so much you really just don't even want to listen. You're right. <laughs> You're so close-minded. I have very selective hearing. Like, I hear you say someone's name. Like, I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> but, I don't know. I thought it was really... Just, uh, like, why is he named Cum Dumpster? <laughs> I don't get it. Then then uh, they have other stuff in here. Like, they have Green Hornet figures. And they have um, they have a, um, a Wave 1 of DC Universe in here, which I didn't know you could still buy that for cheap. And then uh, what else do they have in here? They have Dark Knight Rises stuff for pre-order, but then they have um, what else was in here that was old? Yeah, they have Star Wars figures from like 09. And then they have for the Transformers section, the only things they have in here for Transformers are um, Cannon Force Ironhide, Ultimate Optimus Prime, Creo Optimus Prime and Dark of the Moon Voyage Optimus Prime. Those kind of went cheap with Transformers. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of just uh, upsetting that people. Don't I am so upset over that. Me too, but it does have a picture of Cartman in here, and he's wearing a t shirt that says Beefcake. Beefcake. Kick ass! Oh, there's another thing. For Star Wars, with their uh, FX lightsabers. They have Anakin Skywalkers with a removable blade pictured. And then they have Kit Fisto's. But the problem with Kit Fisto's is Kit Fisto's lightsaber is green and this one's blue. Oh my god. I know. Injustice. These people need thrown in jail. They need to get a pineapple shoved right up their ass sideways. They need sandpaper fist fucked. They need to have yeah. their balls bitten off by a snapping turtle. I've seen that happen to a dog. A dog? Oh, poor dog. Dog going, yip, yip, yip. Did you see this like happen or like a video? I saw a video. That sounds awful. Yeah. And the, the dog is kind of flaunting. <laughs> the turtle's laying on the ground. The dog was laying on the ground. And he just had his balls like just hanging out. It was like... Hey, here's my balls. Here's my balls. Yipe, 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 yipe. Poor, uh, poor dog. Dogs Hope he didn't die. Don't know. I mean, he just kind of left like, like just a, like a little bite. Oh, so it didn't. Might not have even lost his testicles. No. That's good. Did you ever see that one ep Do you ever watch uh, Dirty Jobs? Uh, I I haven't seen it for a while, but I used to watch it. There's a one episode where they're, they're at a a goat farm. And they showed how like they castrated the goats, and they actually used their teeth. Wait, the, the wait, what? The people use their teeth? Yes. 
I, uh, I don't want to procrastinate a goat. <laughs> Me neither. Just horses. Wait, why uh, would you want to... Wait, what? The, the, <laughs> the password for listening to the whole episode was what? Adults, adults only. Adults only. Lame. Think harder next time. Hey, you... Hey. Hey. Twitter. Twitter.com slash SSJ Autobot. Twitter.com slash Anakin Vader. YouTube.com slash Anakin Vader. Uh, my porn profile slash SSJ Autobot. What? Uh, well, hopefully next week we'll, we'll have a little bit more news to, huh. talk, to talk about. I'm still hung up on that. Uh, yeah, never mind. <laughs> and, and uh, yeah, kind of a slow news week, but I think this we made it up. I think, yeah, we're, we're, we're doing better on this thing. Bullshit. Yeah, we're getting, I'm getting a little more accustomed to this fake internet radio thing we've got going on here on YouTube. I actually dig recording. And, like, there's been, for the past two weeks, when it hits Wednesday, I'm like, oh, man, I want to record. I just want to talk. I, it, it, when it comes Friday, I'm like, send me a tweet. You want to record? I'm like, oh, my God, I guess so. <laughs> Fuck. I don't want to do my obligations to the audience. No. Obligations. I'm ex- I'm excited for when we have fans that it's like Saturday at six and they're like, "Where's the new episode? We're waiting all day." Actually, you know what? I did post a one video of re- a review, and um, someone actually did say, "Where's Primecast?" Wow. Really? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool. That's I, pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, go- I'm going through the uh, totally. A- off subject, but I'm going through the Gundam model kits at BBTS. I'm thinking about ordering a couple. They're so cheap. For BBTS, yeah. For the so, uh, like, Gundam store and more has them pretty cheap too. I like a uh, real grade. They're us- uh, these are kind of more expensive, but um, there's a uh, high grade. I don't know yeah. how big that that are. Like there's 20, um, there's bucks. Perfect grade, master grade. Uh, perfect grades match around 150 to 200. Master grades are about 60. High grades are about 20 or so. And then I think there's no grades under that, which are about, you know, under 20 bucks. There's big scale, uh, which are sold out. Anyway. Um, but yeah, I have a bunch of. Um, yeah. Do I have you? a bunch of. Uh, no, I was, just, I was reading this picture and it took me. <laughs> You're home. you're reading a picture. It had a caption. God, open your mind. Guys. Eyes wide shut. I'm going to kill you with fire. Kill you till you die good. I'm going to shoot myself and shoot you. I'm going to bite your balls off. I made that. Uh, <laughs> I'll tell you more after the show. But me and my friends were talking... Uh, this over the past week and it got to the point where we were talking about somebody and I was so inflamed with anger of that person. Um, I was like, if I was trapped in a room with this person, myself, Hitler and Osama bin Laden, I'd shoot myself twice. But, uh, yeah. Uh, I, 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 I was so pissed off at someone. Uh, let's see. <laughs> I said, uh, uh I said it was. I forget exactly what it said, what I said, but it was something along as long as like they're diabetic. <laughs> and, and oh man, I don't like this I, going. I said, I hope your refrigerator goes out and your insulin gets ruined. <laughs> Horrible. When was this? This was a few years ago. And Were like, you being serious? Yes, I was. And the guy I was was like, Jesus Christ, dude, that was intricate. Like that was like not even a. Hoping something happens to them. You hope something inadvertently happens to them. Why would... <laughs> I think it'd be horrible if that person actually died. Yeah. Well, they're dead. Was this anyone you knew or... Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, why? Well, uh, story time? What'd they do? I don't, I don't remember, actually. You just told them, I hope you fucking die? <laughs> no, I didn't say I hope they die. I hope, they, I hope their refrigerator goes out and ruined their insulin. And they lose it, and they can't use it, and they go into shock and die. Yeah, that. So, <laughs> hey, guess what? Hey, show's <laughs> over. Um, I think we tried to end it three minutes ago. Actually, I think we were trying to end like nine minutes ago, and then we were like, "Oh, 
Let's All talk right. about Entertainment Earth. Th- that was Primecast. That was that was a, a decent have, prime. Have a good week. Say ya. Do it now. <laughs>